In this tutorial, I'll show you how to mirror a mesh, and how to align the vertices. Click and drag the middle mouse button to orbit the view. Press N to bring up the property window on the right, and let's change the values. That's how we precisely change the location, rotation, and scale a mesh without using shortcut not the toolbar gizmos. Tab to go to edit mode, and control, R, to place a loop cut in the middle. Type 3 to go to face selection mode, and alt select this edge. That's how we select a face loop. Also, shift select the left face to add the face to the selection. Type X to remove the faces. Let's mirror the mesh. That looks perfect. Now we can move the mesh like this as well. But what if we move the mesh in edit mode? The mesh will move away from the origin, and this issue would occur. When mirroring, Please check where the origin is, if any issues like this one occurs. We could manually adjust the vertices to be on the X0 position, or we could use the clipping option like this. When that option is activated, the mesh will clip and combine smoothly. Let's learn how to align the vertices. What if we had a mesh like this, and we wanted to mirror it? Can we mirror this mesh like the previous one by using the same clipping option? Yes. Then what if we were to align the vertices without having to mirror anything? Tab to go to edit mode, and type B to box select the misaligned vertices like this. Type S, Z, and 0 to align them on the Z axis. What if the mesh looked like this? Type R to rotate. Type S, X, and 0 to align the vertices. This one, S, Z, and 0 to align them. I'll show you something you won't learn from other tutorials. Let's create a UV sphere, slice it in half, and mirror it. Press Ctrl 3 to apply a subsurf modifier. After that, let's apply the mirror modifier. Do you see that visible line in the middle?
On the modifier's stack, the mirror modifier has to go to the top. Move it like this. That's how we fix the issue. There's one more line issue worth mentioning. A similar line will appear if our mesh's midpoint is filled. In another word, if there's a hidden face inside. Type 2 to select edges, Alt select the edge loop like this, and type F to fill. Control 3 to subdivide. Notice the mirror modifier is at the top of the list, but we're still having the same line issue. When this issue occurs, please double check to see if there's a hidden face in the middle. The line is gone, and we're all good. This is the end of the tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you for watching.